Hello everyone, this is Stepan and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I already finished my look for the Pride Month. What did I use for that? Amazing look. So we clean and prepare our face. Use the primer, Putty Primer by Elf. And it's in liquid form. So it's a silicone base. And on top of that, I put Maybelline Foundation Super Stay, which is like 30 hours wear. I mix two colors together. I like them. They nice. They cover it all and it's gonna stain for a long time i think what do you think about that guys and girls for the contour i use creole on stick for eyebrows i use the crown this is a cream palette what you can purchase on their website it's pretty easy to use with the flat brush for eyebrows i also use their palette and i used Safina and i used it it's by you can be but you cannot be with this bullshit. don't buy that underneath on my shadows right now it moves pretty easily so I fix it as I can with like eyeshadow and also I use the pigment with glue which is mm, didn't help a lot I don't know if you can see like this is eating my base I won't recommend use this instead find something like like aqua color which you can use or you can use something like color case by Mitchell and it has a lot of colors they are pretty good they sets well or you use you can use matte lipsticks so you can dry you can blend them around for my glitter i use eye candy this is nice glitters they have a liquid glue which is i don't know it's like a head if it's not like a glue it looks like this and i mean it's pretty liquid like um, alcohol or something like that and you can see they said it's transfer proof so as you can see i can touch my leaves and my hands is nice I see some, but not too many, and I saw it before. It's good to have it on the lips, you see it doesn't transfer on the top one. And the same way on my eyes. You can use it as eyeshadow with the glitter, or you can also apply it as an eyeliner. After it dries, it's not going to transfer anywhere. And they have amazing glitters as well. I didn't try with like different brand glitters. This adhesive, I think it might work, I don't know. One thing what I didn't like with adhesive and this glitter when you're applying it, it's like a melted snow, like it's going in small circles and need to spread it on your eyes. And especially with my base, what I use today, like color base of the Athena, uh, it eats it more and more. So I would be careful with that. It's probably also removes your eyeshadow, but I need to try it later again just on something else for the lipstick today i use jeffree star it's candy joint and i like it uh, for the pencil i use subversive socialite something like that it's like this violet and it's much the lips so i created the contour with the pencil and then i continue with a lipstick for the concealer today i use shape tape by tarte and it was n12 to brighten up the areas like on my nose here here on my forehead but we don't see it and on my chin also i, I use two different powders one to set was one size translucent it sets pretty good and under the eye and on the chin and with nose i used c2 by mac this is powder foundation what do you think about that for my skin right here i use new product by elf and it's called bronzing nourishing drops be careful with them when you apply. First of all, first reaction on my body was it's patchy. You still see it's pretty patchy right here. For the eyebrows, I use a pencil on top of the cream and it was Vivienne Sabot in number one blonde. I set it with Urban Decay All Nighter. It's pretty much it, I think. Did I miss something? Oh, probably my eyes. Eyelashes I got on a Beauty Expo recently and it's no name. For the dry shadow, I use Crown Palette, which I also got on the Beauty Show, which is pretty awesome. It's so cheap. They not too crazy pigmented, but this blue you see, it's also from here. And the, the green I didn't use from here, but I use the minty color like this one uh, underneath of the glitter and the blue between dark blue. And it was from an hour palette. I think it's urban color from AliExpress, the book one. And as you can see, I also did dye my hair today. 
uh, actually it's a wig but it's natural wig and i use pravana hair color for that and it's direct pigment so i just put it in the water you see on the ends it rubs better because you know ends usually more damage and they <laughs> suck color pretty easily compared to the roots i probably didn't apply it correct i put the wig in the water so probably this drop coloring but in here in this area was just water it's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next videos this is what's happened thank you everyone bye